Hey, good evening. So I wanted to do a quick video in regards to a post that I made on one of my social media platforms. And the post was about autism because my son is on the spectrum. And the post was stating how I feel, I feel that my son, that my son's autism, because he's on the spectrum, I feel that it has been a blessing to him. Because see here, we can't always look at everything and think that it's bad or think that it's something bad with it or wrong with it. It all depends on how you react to it, depending on if it's bad or if it's good, and if you know what to do about it. So, um, one of the replies, one of the one of the comments back about my son's autism was that she didn't think that it was a blessing because it's a brain injury. Well, let me set the record straight about autism. My son does not have a brain injury. Um, you must Google the difference in brain injuries and autism and the spectrums on autism. They are never brain injuries. So let me school you a little bit of what I have dealt with for almost 18 years with autism and the reason why I say that it is a blessing for my son. And it's only because how I have handled it, what he has been fed, and how he absorbs to what I have taught him, okay? So, brain injury, you say, right? Nah, you're sadly mistaken. Um, autism is a developmental disorder. That means the ability to communicate and interact. All right? Follow me here. It is a developmental disorder. The ability to communicate and interact. Communicate and interact. All right? Um, they say, they said that, and they always say, um, that it can't be cured, right? Ain't that what they say? Um, One thing about autism, I had to pause for a minute because I'm trying to be, I want this to be a teaching and not a personal disaster, okay? Because I'm very uh, sensitive about um, children with autism and any uh, anything that's on the spectrum, okay? The, uh, let me see how to say this. Hmm. Autism is also um, when you have communication skills, social interacting. Uh, when, when you can't communicate, your communication skills are um, not where they should be. Uh, you have social interactions, like you can't look people in the eye a lot. You have obsessive interests in things and repetitive behaviors. So let me tell you, when I say those things, those four little things I just told you, I want to tell you how those have been a blessing to my son. The repetitive behaviors is, and I wrote down a list of things about my son. The repetitive behaviors are a blessing because 
he has attached his brain to be repetitive to reading all labels in the grocery store on all of the food that's, that's harmful to him and us on a daily basis. That's very repetitive because he reads everything. He knows all of the bad stuff that's in foods. The BHT, the TSP, the number 40 red, the number, number 6 yellow. He knows all of the um, bad things in food. And I don't want to go too deep with a lot of big words and all of that because I don't want to go over somebody's head. Okay? Uh, so I'm talking to you like we're sitting at the table and we're talking about you know, girlfriend stuff. All right. So that is very repetitive. That's a repetitive behavior in a good way, because what 17 year old do you know that don't have a brain injury, as you say, or that had that, that don't have autism? What 17 year old, 18, 19 year old, some of you 40, 50 year olds don't care about labels. See, that's a blessing that a lot of us should have we should have a repetitive behavior knowing what to go and read and knowing what to eat and what not to eat so that is a blessing to my son um let me go in a little bit deeper for you to let you know how this autism has have has actually saved my son and has um, has been a blessing to him because everything is not a bad thing, okay? Uh, but if you don't know how to fix it, then of course it's going to be a bad thing to you. Because my son is on the spectrum, he doesn't really understand death, so he's he has no fear to death. A lot of teenagers, some of them now sit up and worry about death, and that causes stress on the body. My son has no stress. Uh, so he is not worried about certain things that other teenagers are worried about. He's not worried about uh, getting a new pair of Jordans. He could care less. So therefore, he won't be going out stealing and robbing and possibly robbing you, hitting people over the head because he wants the latest outfit. He wants the, the latest Jordans. Okay? So... By him being on the spectrum, it is a blessing. Anytime my son works, he looks at it as he's not working. Everything is play to him. You can work my son for 12, 15 hours a day. He would never complain. He would never say no. He would never get disrespectful with you. And he's going to work all the overtime that you tell him to. The only thing he's going to want is a break for his snacks. OK, so being on the spectrum is a blessing for him when it comes to work ethics. OK, he works harder than most adults. All right. Um, being on the spectrum is a blessing to my son also because he never asked once again. Um, he never says no to any vegetables. He will eat any type of vegetable that you that I cook. He eats all vegetables. He's never had baby food out the jar. Uh, he doesn't really know what a lot of fast food look like. Uh, will he eat it though? Yeah, if I gave it to him. But being on the spectrum is a blessing because he never says no to vegetables. He he, he takes his sea moss every day. He takes supplements every day. He 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 cleans his liver weekly. Being on the spectrum saved his life as far as herbs. What teenager you know, or maybe I bet your teenagers are not doing this. And if they are, that is such a blessing. But getting back to my son, um, being on the spectrum, having autism, once again, has been a blessing to my son because 
Teenagers nowadays are not just going to take sea moss raw and swallow it and go back to their room and sit down and do their homework. I don't know any. And if it is, kudos to them. But we're talking about my son. Um, any supplements that, that, that he's supposed to take. He, he knows what to take. He knows what all the herbs in my office is. Not all the herbs, but he's on it. I'm quite sure he knows more about herbs than, than most adults. He can teach you something. Take a class with him. Okay? Um, he gets straight A's. You know why? Because being on the spectrum is a blessing to him because he doesn't know how to get a B. Okay? He doesn't know how to get a B because it's called repetitive behavior, obsessive interest. That's what's a blessing to him. He's obsessed with being perfect. He's obsessed with perfection because of being on the spectrum. So it's not a brain injury, sis. It's not a brain injury. Um, what teenagers... Well, it is a lot of teenagers, but we're talking about my son who's on the spectrum, okay? He's obsessed with getting things right. He's obsessed with the repetitive behavior of organizing his dresser, folding his clothes up, making sure everything is color-coded in his closet. He doesn't like change. That's a blessing. It's not a brain injury. It's not a brain. And if it is a brain injury, kudos to my son. But we're talking about it's not a brain injury. Okay? All right. Um, and you tell me a lot of teenage boys his age are into so many girls by now. They're not trying to color code their clothes. They're not trying to get up and be at work on time or be to school on time. Most of them can care less. I, well, I'll take that back. Not most, some. I don't have to worry about my son out here in these streets when I hear a gunfire. Or if uh, uh, I look on the news and a teenage boy has gotten killed. Because you know what? The spectrum has made him where he don't want to be out in the streets. He could care less. He doesn't even think that way, okay? So being on the spectrum is a blessing to my son, all right? Let's move on. Um, being on the spectrum is a blessing. Yes, it is, once again. And you said that it wasn't. You said it was a brain injury. But having autism and being on the spectrum is a blessing to my son because he catches on to everything and he wants to. He thrives to. It's a must. He must perfect this. It's a must. Some teenagers give up fast. I don't want to do this. Forget about it. Not my son. So that is a blessing. Once again, he's very organized. He's a boy. Not too many boys very organized. Some, but not too many. So it is a blessing because once again, autism is, that's an obsession of his, of being organized, all right? He listens very well, better than most adults, okay? Because the frontal lobe of his brain works 24-7. It never turns off. And this is why it's a blessing, because the frontal lobe of his brain makes him have a lot of, because it's working so much and he sees things different and he learns different. So being having autism is a blessing because he works harder than the average kid his age. He works harder than the average adult. He wants to perfect things. So he's constantly working on how to be better, how to be better than better than better than better. And most of you adults don't do that. Hell, I may have autism because that's me as well. It's not a brain injury, okay? Um, um, and I think I've covered everything on my list. I had to really think and write this down because people have a, 
um, misunderstanding about autism. And I know that sometimes you see some children, they're shaking, they're rocking back and forth, they have no speech. That comes because there's no communication. Uh, but when I found out that my son had autism, I went in strong. There was no fast food. There was no baby food. Um, uh, my son has never had beef, never had pork. He has had a little chicken before. Uh, he has had a little fish before. But he's 98% vegan. That 2% is when he's probably at school and he's eating some darn chicken nuggets or something. But... I just really want people to understand that autism is not a brain injury. And when you say things like that, when you say, oh, that's a brain injury, it makes it makes autism look like they're 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 not that smart or they're mentally disturbed. Um, it's just not a good look that's coming off of our tongues and us as adults, we need to relearn and really research autism so that we'll be able to teach our children and our grandbabies so that autistic children don't get a bad rap, okay? They do not have brain injuries. They are different people who learn differently. My son can out talk and out speak most adults. He's very articulate. He's very smart. He's very courageous. Um, he's very crafty. He's very artsy. Um, and he's a very hard worker. Any woman is going to love to have him as a husband. He's every husband that a woman wants. He can cook. He's been cooking since he was 10. He's been staying home alone since he was about 11 or 12. Um, it's so much that I could say about my son that is on the spectrum. And does, he has autism, but he's about 95% autis, autism free now. But it is not a brain injury, okay? So we have to learn to think before we speak and we have to learn to be compassionate. And when I say be compassionate, it's not, it's not just saying that, oh, I have compassion. I didn't mean anything wrong. I'm sorry. It's not about that. You have to have compassion from the heart. If you have compassion from the heart, it'll go to the brain cells. Once it gets in the brain cells, it's repetitive. And see, a lot of us adults, we don't have repetitive behaviors. On the positive note, we just don't have it. Um, so let an autistic child be your teacher and teach you something. You know, take classes with the autistic child. Um, they can teach you how to write. They can teach you how to draw. They can teach you how to paint. They can teach you how to use your hands to make money. They can teach you to be pleasant. They can teach you to be calm. They can teach you not to worry about things. They can teach your kids how to get straight A's. Yeah, they can teach them that. They can also teach um, women how to organize their closets. I'm talking about my son. He can teach you all these things. Um, So if you want to hire my son for certain things, like maybe to organize your closet, to do some painting, um, he can also show your kids how to read labels, know what the number 40 red means. He can tell your kids about um, cancer cells. He can help your children with uh, uh, study habits. He can uh, help your kids understand Maybe that the streets is not for them. Um, it's a whole lot of things that my son can do. He's not the average kid with autism. And it's a lot of children that's like him. Millions. Autistic children are genius. 
They're geniuses, all of them, all of them. So we just have to learn about autistic children and um, the people that don't know about autistic children. I hope that, um, I hope and pray that you can learn something from this video and can learn that um, it is not a brain injury, okay? And I hope this video has helped someone that's that was thinking that it was a brain injury. I hope this video was able to soothe your tongues before you speak because if this had been another mother that read that, this could have went a whole nother way. But I just hope that God can soothe your mind and, and help you through this. And if you have children with autism, let my son teach your kids, okay? Peace and blessings.